Okay, so welcome everyone. Uh, Vic here with Search Triggers and the Success Mastermind Hangout. And I'm very, very happy to share with you our event today is all about ranking in Google. And I'm going to actually lock the camera on myself here for a moment. Let me tell you a little bit about my story. I got my start in, uh, in 1994 when Bill Gates sent me a letter saying, Vic, you've got some great ideas. We want you to help launch uh, MSN and Windows 95 in response to a CD-ROM proposal that I gave him about Buckminster Fuller. Uh, and so that got me started in the personal growth arena. I got to interview luminaries like Jack Canfield uh, before he was wildly successful with Chicken Soup for the Soul, uh, Deepak Chopra, who came on my show uh, quite a number of times. Uh, and it was funny because every time Deepak would have something come up, Jack Canfield would always fill in for me. So Jack was just always a trooper. I could always count on Jack to show up at our event when Deepak would cancel for some reason. So, uh, you know, meanwhile, Microsoft would always say, Vic, why do you keep bringing this Indian guy back over and over? I said, he's always coming out with some new book. <laughs> and his agent would call me up and to promote it. So that's my story from the early days. I've been always promoting leaders at, in the personal growth world. And now, Michelle, to me, is the leader of the next generation. She is the leader of the, she's, not only is she an amazing public speaker, she's now the director of the California Women's Conference. She inherited that from Maria Shriver. Uh, I'm very honored to have her here with us in the Success Mastermind Hangout. And uh, so a little bit about what I've seen, just in the few moments that I've, I've spent with Michelle, she is the real deal. Uh, she, if there was ever someone who could move things into, you know, she, she won't take, I can't do it, you know, she, no matter what, she will get it done. And I, I want her to tell her, tell her story. So, uh, Michelle, that's enough of an introduction. Uh, Michelle, camera's on you. Okay, well, wonderful. Well, it's good to see my friend. But you're muted. How about now? Can you, uh... Am I unmuted? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, I'm, you're unmuted. You're gonna, Vic's gonna have to uh, get me up to speed. I'm just, I'm, I'm a newbie on the Google Hangout world, so it's, uh, it's good to see you guys. But I miss you, Melody. How are you, love? Good. Okay. Yeah, hello. <laughs> so I'm fine, miss you. So happy to see you this last weekend. Vic, I got to run into you as well. So yeah, I um, great way to describe me. I definitely do not take no for an answer and have all the same fears that that pop up. Um, you know, we talked about stepping into a role to take on the California Women's Conference, and there was definitely a lot of monkey chatter that went on uh, in my head uh, because I wasn't coming from the governor's office. I wasn't coming out of a uh, be it a Kennedy or Maria Shriver, I was Michelle Patterson, and it was, you know, how can we go ahead and we, how can we launch this event and keep it going? It was an event that got canceled by the state, and it's let's let's make this happen. And we went into some some big big challenges. Um, actually, had a deficit of 1.8 million in order to put the event on, and from there. Um, we were able to go ahead in just a short amount of time raise one, you know, 1.65 million going into the event. So that was a good thing. But I always tell people, it's you know, are you your biggest cheerleader? You know, do you believe in your passion? Do you support yourself? And if you don't, you know, you can't really think about whether or not others should jump on. And, and really go on that train ride with you if you yourself are not interested and not supporting your passion. So it's super important to know where is it that you're going. And okay, so I'm looking at myself talk, and it's it looks like I'm one of those um, you know those movies where it's like the words don't match up with the mouth. Is that right, Fit? <laughs> uh, yeah. It, well, it, it's only that way because of your upstream internet speed. A lot okay, of people don't know this is we have high speed internet at home, 
but it's about eighth of the speed going up. And so you have to call, you know, you know what happened to me is that uh, I complained to uh, AT&T about our ability to do Hangouts. And uh, I, I told them who I was, and then they Googled me, and uh, they, <laughs> they sent a truck out here, and they rewired the whole block. Uh, so now we have uh, extremely fast Internet speed, and so it's, it's better. But basically, the, the playback will be fine. It's just while it's being recorded, you might see a little stuttering. So I would say just okay. let's roll with it. So um, I'm going to call, and AT&T is one of our um, sponsors that we're talking to. In fact, Georgia, who's the president of the Women's uh, Council, just got awarded a big, huge award, a good friend of mine. But yes. I'm going to call. I want, I want to have them come out and rewire my whole block. That's what they say. That. They won't do that. <laughs> Wow! I mean, honestly, you're you are a well connected person. I thought I was well connected. You're you're like over the top. Yeah. You, what you need is a minimum of five megabits upstream for high definition, and so oh. and you also want to plug in not through wireless. You want to plug directly in with the router. So it's that little cable. You know, I wish I had one lying around here. I don't. Uh, but you want to plug that cable directly. You know, imagine there's a little cable. You plug the cable directly into your laptop. Okay, uh, because we have if you go any wireless, it it has a little bit of a delay. Okay, it doesn't function. You know, in, in fact, we could do uh, the women's conference live in a hangout. It will hangouts now can run up to five hours without cease. Wow. Um, and if we have Google's cooperation and we have good internet speed. Uh, I would recommend 5 to 10 megabit upstream is what we need to do a broadcast quality. Uh, I did, uh, if I could share with you a funny story, um, I did the 9-11 broadcast, uh, the 10th anniversary in Seattle Center. I was the internet director for the broadcast, and uh, we were working with Clear Channel, um, and we had to use a, uh, it was a special box, it looked like this is giant router that would go out on cellular phones. And the problem was if we were sucking up all of the upstream mobile phone bandwidth of the entire city of Seattle <laughs> to do <Wow>. this broadcast. <laughs> and, and their anti-fraud uh, control department would automatically kick in because it was through Verizon. It was clear channel with Verizon. Every 52 minutes, it would shut down. And I had to reset the router. Now, our control room where we had the broadcast running from, we had 50,000 people watching the broadcast live and only around two or 3,000 people in the audience uh, at the stadium. So it was a much bigger online audience. Uh, it was also through Peace Day TV, and then that was also part of the United Nations uh, Day of Peace. Wow. <laughs> so it was kind of all this big thing. But I, <laughs> I had to run... A uh, hundred yards from the football, you know, one end of the football field all the way to the end zone, uh, where the cameras were to reset the router, because no one felt safe to un. I said, all you have to do is unplug it and plug it back in. I said, that's not our job description. <laughs> so, so uh, it was a 12-hour broadcast. So I made 12 runs across to make sure that the internet kept, got back up uh, for the live broadcast. That's called commitment, my friends. That is doing no matter what it takes to get it working. <laughs> you rock. You rock. Very impressive. Very. But, but now with Google so Hangouts, it Google Plus, okay, so, it's easy. So let's have you do that at the conference. Um, I'll have you. Uh, let's tie you into uh, doing that at the conference. We're live streaming and all that, but I definitely. Don't know about how all that works, but it'd be good, Vic, to tie you into that. Okay. Yeah. F fantastic. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. I'm really, I really—I don't even know what I'm talking about, but you know, give me a subject, I'll talk about it. Well, I, I didn't know what you're talking about at the conference. So you are on a panel, and you are with uh, Megan Smith. Is there from Google? Um, but you're, we, we actually are pulling in the uh, the experts in technology. So you're going to be, um, you'll be part of that discussion. And then we've got our own hackathon. We've got uh, Wonder Women Hacks. So the first hackathon for uh, for women. A hackathon.
<laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. And what does Megan Smith of Google talk about? Because because Google is an interesting company. I know a lot of people at Google. <clears throat> uh, um, because they're employees, there's things they can say and there's things they can't say. Yeah, and I respect that because uh, Google has very very long term thinking. I think they studied from the Chinese uh, because you know their vision. They've already taken over the world, so now you know they're taking over the universe. <laughs> but, they're going intergalactic. Intergalactic is basically. Well, yeah. I have yeah. to tell you, uh, make make it. She is so impressive. Um, I watched her work on her computer, her iPhone, you know, her phone, and then her, you know, call somebody, video conference from New York. I mean, she was doing. I think she could have been flying a plane. She was doing about fourteen things at once, mm -hmm. and and then was able to carry on a conversation about what those next steps were for the conference. I mean, but pretty amazing. But yeah, they're. Uh, I'm I'm impressed. I got to see uh, the Google glasses. And uh, the car that had no nobody in the driver's seat driving, so that was kind of cool. And on the road, so they're uh, they're very innovative, that's for sure. Yeah, the 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 Google Glass is their big launch this year, uh, and and uh, you know it's 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 built up such a buzz in the industry. Uh, I believe that thing is capable of doing live Google Hangouts right from the glass. It is my um, one of the guys. My my technology guy actually just got uh, approved to to get um, the Google Glass, so we can actually have that at the conference. See, that's what we should do: is if we want to have different people at the conference chiming in. Like what we tried to do with Kyle's event was to have me on stage talking to Kyle at his event on stage. But the upstream, again, the upstream speed was not fast enough for us to have the quality to do that. Mm -hmm. What we could do is have someone in a different room talking yeah. to the main stage live, uh, you know, using Google Glass. That's really the vision is being able to connect. As you can see below this video, there are uh, there's space for 10. There's four of us here now, but there's actually space for 10, uh, 10 spots. So you could have uh, different people with glasses walking around, interviewing people, and then we could switch the camera live right to that person. Okay, that's pretty cool. So do you have any glasses? I don't. I would love to have one. Uh, I was not on the invitation list. Do you have? I have colleagues that have them, though. Do you? Do you are you well, going to figure that out? Yeah, we, yeah, we should we should definitely figure that yeah, out. Yeah, we'll have uh, my. I think that'd be great. I mean, that would be a great thing to orchestrate at the event. That would be a, a little buzz, especially with us doing the hackathon. Well, you know, it would be really, really cool. This is my dream. <laughs> okay, I would like to play the piano wearing a Google Glass and have people watch live my hands as they move across the keys. Here, you should. I should call a. Uh... <laughs> hey Jay. Yeah. Hey, come over here. Okay. Um, we're calling my tech guy from the other office. Yeah, that would be interesting. We got to figure that out. I would think with us um, reaching out to Google, we could be able to get some of those. And then I know he went. He was on a waiting list for it. So interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, so so tell, so back to your conference. When I when I reviewed Deepak, we would go through all kinds of Q and A from the audience, and we would. Okay, so this is Vic. Hey, Vic, my my tech guy just came in, so I'm doing a Google chat. So he brings up, he goes, he goes, um, he goes, wouldn't that be so cool? He plays the piano. Hey, hey. Working with Bill Gates, I mean, rock star. So he said, would it be great to have Google goggles while he's playing the piano? And I said, well, my. IT guy, he wants to have like the Google, you know, the Google goggles, and wouldn't it be great to get a couple going? Yeah. At the conference. Sure. So. I think that would be awesome. And then have it be the challenge is he's and all of you guys are. I mean, it would be great to have more than one person to be able to do it. So we'll have to look at that. But I wanted you guys to meet. Oh, and he was saying for my, um, I got to be tied into the wall. Yeah. 
That's Can you plug her into the into the LAN instead of wireless? It would be faster. Unfortunately, she doesn't have a LAN plug-in on her computer. It's a slim fit uh, design, oh, so exactly. it doesn't have a you uh, it doesn't have the typical LAN port. There's no Ethernet. No. Nope. Okay. Well, for doing Hangouts, you always want to be plugged in. That's something I learned from Alex Mendozian is you, you, you really need to have the uh, Ethernet uh, because the wireless uh, slows down uh, the broadcast. And um, <clears throat> Google has automatic uh, bandwidth detection. And so if it notices any uh, fluctuation in your, in your speed, it will broadcast you at standard definition instead of HD. So okay. I'm coming to you live at HD because we've got 5 megabit up and 44.5 down. Okay. So that's what you want to get at home and then get like a desktop. Uh, you need at least a quad core. I mean, if you guys are watching the replay on this and you want to know how to do high definition Google Hangouts, this is the key. Number one, you got to call AT&T and make sure you're 5 megabit up. Everyone will try to sell you downstream. They say, oh, I have plenty of bandwidth. When you actually read the fine print, what is 5 megabit? <clears throat> 5 megabit, divide that by 8 is how many bytes. Well, it, that's less than that's less than 1,000 bytes upstream. So the faster the upstream, the better you want to max it out. Whatever it is, just get it max. Um, number two, you have to have Ethernet, which yeah. is the, the cable, not yeah. an air or a wireless. Because yeah. wireless will cause you to go standard definition. And number three, you need a quad core computer, like a brand new MacBook Pro has quad core, or uh, any of the PCs that have quad core. You need make sure it has four cores. That's what you need for HD. I don't know the specs, and uh, maybe maybe uh, your tech guy can answer it. Is see Google Glass? I thought was able to do high definition video directly to um, uh, a, a wireless network, which is why they built it. You literally have, you know, like, see, th there's a distinction. If you're walking around with a camera, okay, your camera is about, let's say, uh, several feet away from your eye, whereas if you're wearing Google Glass, when you're filming, what you're seeing is exactly what your eye is seen. So it's really designed to give you immersive experience of what it's like to be that person. Wow. Basically, it's Google's answer to the GoPro. You know, like we wear a GoPro camera, and we feel like we're actually skiing. We feel like we're snowboarding. We feel like we're surfing. Uh, I, I just bought a GoPro, and it's, it's a lot of fun. It's like you can, you know, you can just walk around, and it's like live. And, 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 uh, and so... The Google Glass puts it right up by your eye, so you just look at things naturally. Yeah. It has this motion sensor, so it gets rid of the vibration automatically. Uh, I think the reason they're not releasing it right now is because they need to build the network to support the glass, because end users won't understand that you've got to have a really fast network to be able to play with it. Mm -hmm. So if we could get Google on board with the with the conference, what I would suggest we do is we sit down with some of their engineering team. Let's say we need 10 Google Glasses running at the event. Here's my specification. You guys may want to take notes. Get 10 Google Glasses because we have 10 spots below. Uh, actually, I think we need eight because we want to have two directly plugged into Ethernet as background. We need someone who's going to be moderating and running things behind the scenes, and I could probably assist with that because I, I, was, I was trained in, in how to do that by Alex. And then we need to have a, you know, different. We need to have a wireless network that has at least an N speed. It's called wireless N. You don't want to be using G or B. Most people are running on G. Uh, you need at least a wireless N because that has almost the speed of a cable plug, mm -hmm. and that's what you need in order to do the wireless connection. And somehow we're going to have to sync those Google Glasses up to the network so that we can do real time. But could you imagine if we had someone in a completely different building talking to the main stage? So it brings the connectivity of people who are not yet on the main. I, I don't know. I, let me ask you, are you going to have several things going on simultaneously, like yeah. the main stage 
and then there's other rooms. Breakout and breakout. There's eight. So there's the arena, and then there's eight breakout sessions. Eight different rooms. So we could have maybe a three or four minute section for each of the breakouts fed via video to the main stage so people just feel like they're getting to participate at least with you know like a 30 second spot or a minute spot to the main stage so it promotes you know because a lot of people who will be just hanging out on the main stage they won't want to go anywhere uh, that would be that would be a good use for for the technology I think is letting those those speakers in the breakout rooms connect with the main stage during their performance just say a word or two it, it feels like okay. you know, connecting everyone into that experience, uh, not to take away, but to add to. And that was the vision I got when I was standing on stage at Kyle's event and I was talking to you. I thought, wow, wouldn't this be cool? Yeah. Broadcasting this to an audience that was a thousand times larger than the people who were sitting in the chair. And to have one person there be able to say, oh, well, this is what we did back in Deepak. Uh, when I was with Deepak, we didn't have video. It was all text. So I was on the phone with Deepak, and I had a 200-something word typist that would take his words in, in his Indian accent, and he would be talking like this, and I love Deepak very much. But you know, she had to be able to translate that in real time into this chat box. And it was just amazing, because uh, once we crossed that 2,000-person chat, what happened was uh, I would think of a question, and this is kind of weird, it might be three, you know, but just roll with it. I, don't, I can't explain it, but I would be curious if it's someone out there who watches the video, if you, if, you, if you have an explanation, morphogenetic fields, whatever your opinion is, write that in the comments below this video and just share it. But here's what happened, God's honest truth. I would think of a question out of the 2,000 simultaneous chatters that were there live with Deepak, someone would ask the exact same question that I was thinking of. So the question now is, did I think of the question or was I tuning into what the mind of the world was thinking about? It didn't happen when we had 1,000 people. It only happened when we had 2,000 people. <laughs> so That's, typically wow. Deepak would pull in around 2,000 people. Jack pulled in around a thousand people at that time. Okay. And okay. so did Dan Millman and uh, a number of other people that were on our show. But it was really exciting because the idea was you would have this synchronistic connectivity with all the participants out there. Yeah. I would love to recreate that at the event. Imagine if someone on the internet who couldn't be there physically could ask a question to somebody on stage and they could answer it. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of like what we were doing back in the 90s, but we were doing it through plain text. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's just like the tech is so much cooler now. Well, and we have it right now. We've got our virtual stage, so you can go in, but it's all tech. And, you know, and we can't, we don't have options to do video on, but we have text and so you can see the panels that are already happening. But can you imagine, I mean, being able to have the glasses and I'm, I'm going to work on that, actually. In fact, um, Jay, you can, um, I just took the notes, put it together where it would be like, um, uh, like a, in, in uh, these are things we need, and I'll send it over to Megan Smith and go to Google and go, hey, you know, this is what we want to do. So I'll send it over to Megan Smith and see if it's something that we can do. So yeah, I hate, yeah. yeah, awesome. I've got, a, I've got, a, uh, I just have a couple more minutes. Um, and I actually I could call you from the car, um, headed to my other thing. But I'm excited to ride this ride with you guys. It's pretty, it's gonna, it's going to be a wild ride. I could see it right now. So I, I put in there. You want to get a Logitech C920 webcam. Okay, they're about seventy five dollars, and it's the lowest cost, high definition webcam that works ideal for Google Plus on a desktop or a laptop. And you could just have someone sit down at the station okay. and get on Google Plus at the communications communication station, and uh, that could be one of the channels. Uh, you know, I, I, maybe what we should do would be is let's have four Google Glass running around. Okay, let's have how many how many stations do you have at the event? Um, there's there's like twelve. 
12, I mean, we have all the exhibitor booths. We have eight breakout rooms. We've got the arena. So it's a good size. The whole okay, convention so, center. So a laptop or a desktop at each facility, if they have a Logitech C920 webcam just plugged in, uh, that way someone could talk without using a headset. Um, I could I could I could switch to that, um, and I could well. It, you you can talk basically just talk to the camera, and it would show up adequately for us to be able to incorporate it into one of the live, you know, like on stage. So you could have someone, a participant, sit down and just ask a question to a speaker, and they could be in a completely different section of the conference. And you, they wouldn't even need to wear the glass because it's it's a, uh, uh, it's kind of like you'd have to have people logistically, you know, putting glasses on, taking them off, which is kind of cool, but it's probably better to have a station hardwired there, get how many people to sit down and they ask their question and it just gets done. If we got those, because we have a, we can go to Logitech and get those from Logitech. Yeah, yeah. They're probably a sponsor, right? They are. They are a sponsor. Okay. So, so let me let me finish the question saying, what's your vision for the California Women's Conference in 2014, and why should someone, like, I I, I hear it's sold out already. Are there still tickets available? There's. Well, I know people who know people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I can get okay. you guys are going. I can get you tickets. Um, there are some tickets still available. And but they are selling. We we're in the thick of it. We're getting ready to announce our uh, our big lineup. We've got a concert that's happening. So and we've got a Grammy Award winner. And um, so we're excited. I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not able to announce that yet. But it's it's coming down the pipeline pretty quickly. So very good there. And then um, the conference, the whole conference, the theme is better together. And it's really it's about women and men supporting women to help them lead this thriving life. And what I love about it is it's creating stages for women to be able to share their message. And when you look at um, what we've done is we've partnered, one of our partners is uh, Gallup Poll. We looked at 50 years of studies and we said, what, what makes somebody, you know, have this thriving life, this life that's worth living? And so the five elements that came up was, you know, the career, how they spend their time, social, the relationships that they have. So the financial is and taking all of that and making it fun. You know, so when you go to the conference, you'll see all five elements represented. You've got all these different resources coming to the table to be able to give women um, what they need to be able to have these successful really thriving lives and successful businesses and families that are able to build and take this back to their community. So a couple of the, um, the big things that I'm really, really excited about is, again, um, having all of the major blogs that are represented up on one stage. So over, you know, 100 million subscribers. So we've got everybody from Ariana Huffington from Huffington Post to Amanda Steinberg who runs the Daily Worth to empower her. Uh, Michelle, who's got, you know, 44 million uh, subscribers. And, and then we're also talking to Blogger next week. And what's happening is when you, when you talk to these women, it's the, the, the response has been just amazing. It's, it's time. It's how do we come together? How do we stop working in, independently of, of each other? And how do we join efforts so that we're able to really be better together? And let's not compete for that one spot like we used to, but how can we really come together? So it's exciting just to see, and it's you know people from all over um, the United States and internationally. We've got the United Nations coming; they're doing a an event. It's a uh, Impact Leadership 21. So I can't wait to see my sisters from over there. They're doing a panel called Conversations with Men. And and we've just got, oh, I just saw a husband go by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just saw him. Uh, see this there. <laughs> uh, we've got, but we've got <laughs> these. Oh, my God. 
Um, so it's, it's pretty exciting. So I would definitely check out the website CaliforniaWomensConference.com. We've also got Women Network and tying in Women Network so that we can continue the conversation 365 days out of the year. But it, it truly is this worldwide summit where you just you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss the uh, Wonder Woman Hacks, the Hackathon. Uh, we've already had 100 uh, enroll to be part of the Hackathon. So we've got just some amazing things that are happening. But the whole mindset is women are out there. They're doing incredible things. We just need to be talking about it. We need to put a spotlight. We need to create a stage. And we need to go ahead and celebrate what these women are doing. And so I can't wait to have Immaculate who's coming out. He's a phenomenal speaker to one of my favorites, Bob Proctor and Jack Canfield and Jane Pauley and Gina Davis. I mean, we have 106 speakers that are on this stage. And, and the neat thing is that this is the, the signature event, but what's happening is nothing short of just really it's, it's magical is to see these conferences being able to be housed all over the U.S. And, and going back to your comment, Vic, it's going to be great to be able to live stream this and make sure that those that can't make it from wherever they're at in the world can still be a part of it. That's great. Yeah. That's great, and and I look forward to working with you to make sure that that happens. And and your tech guy. I am. I mean, I'm serious. That's huge. And yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. And and I know in talking with uh, Google with Google Hangouts in particular, that's something that they would love to see. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set up an email. I'm gonna have Jay put it together, and we'll get that off to. Google and let's get the ball rolling with that, and uh, we'll have you uh, spearhead that. That'd be perfect. So awesome. excellent. All right, and um, thanks for having me on. And I look forward to. Uh, we've got six, a little over six weeks before the event. So um, let me get my wiring and my connection set up, and and I'll be good to go. And I look forward to uh, being back on your show. Thank you. Uh, let's let's coordinate doing another show like this. Perfect. Uh, when you're in better wiring, and then we'll promote this one a little bit more to our lists. Okay. And, uh, you know, I don't know when people will see this video because we archive all of them. Okay. But if you're watching this video and you you want to get more information about anything you've heard in this talk, click the button below this video and click that link and pop in your name, email address, and phone number, and we will send you the information. So if we can get uh, some some tickets uh, for some of the people that here that they, if they could buy them online, uh, I'm going to put that that link in as soon as your assistant can email it to me. Okay, perfect, perfect, and we'll give your uh, audience some uh, special special discounted tickets. So that'll definitely go on there. All right, awesome. Well, thanks you guys. It was good, good seeing see you. you. All Bye, right, Michelle. great, great Thank seeing you. you too. Bye, Melody. Bye, Michelle. Aloha. Love you, Michelle. <laughs> Love you back. Bye. Bye.